Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to Amazed by the Qur'an, a series in which I love sharing with you things I find amazing about the Qur'an. Today a little bit about this beautiful bird, Al-Hudhud, that's mentioned in Surah Al-Naml. Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَجَدْتُهَا وَقَوْمَهَا يَسْجُدُونَ لِلشَّمْسِ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ وَزَيَّنَ لَهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ أَعْمَالَهُمْ فَصَدَّهُمْ عَنِ السَّبِيلِ فَهُمْ لَا يَحْتَدُونَ uh, the bird comes and reports back to Sulaiman after going to see Queen Sheba's, Queen Saba's kingdom. And this is her analysis. وَجَدْتُهَا وَقَوْمَهَا يَسْجُدُونَ لِلشَّمْسِ I found her and her nation prostrating to the sun. So they're worshipping the sun. مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ As opposed to Allah. وَزَيِّنَ لَهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ أَعْمَالَهُمْ And shaitan, the devil, has beautified, has successfully beautified their deeds to them. Meaning, meaning this heinous act of worship is a decorated act and they think it's a spiritual act and a great, you know, profound ritual, etc. فَصَدَّهُمْ عَنِ السَّبِيلِ So thus he has prevented them from the path, from the correct path. فَهُمْ لَا يَحْتَدُونَ Thus they are not going to commit themselves to correct guidance. They're too invested and too immersed in their in their you know, uh, shirk ways and their ways of blasphemy and they've beautified it for themselves because of shaitan that they're not going to commit themselves to guidance. I'm amazed by this ayah because this is a bird that's giving this profound analysis. It, a, a bird didn't just see that they're worshipping. It sees, it, anal- it reports that they're worshipping the sun, number one, and that they've actually decorated this ritual to the point where she can tell shaitan has beautified this for them and he's prevented them from any means of finding the right path that is a really deep insight by a bird. And they're not going to commit themselves to guidance. فَهُمْ لَا يَحْتَدُونَ What I'm trying to get at is Allah has put all these creatures that don't have a speech we can understand. Sulaiman alayhi salam is given the ability, مَنْتِقَ tayr, The ability to converse with birds, you know, to, to be able to communicate with them and they can communicate with him. What we're learning through that little window that's been opened for us is these creatures, all of them have a language. And all of them are actually, they have their own way of recording what we do what human beings do. Like you're, you have a pet or you're just driving around. You're driving to some bad place and there's a bird sitting up on like the wires on the street or on uh, the street light and it just sees you, it looks towards you. It's a witness and it's got a pretty detailed account of what you did. It's not just the angels on your sides that are writing it down. It's the ants. It's the, it's the fly on the wall. It's the birds. You know, it's the, it's the cat. It's the dog. These are all witnesses. And they, just because they don't speak now, doesn't mean they won't speak on Judgment Day. SubhanAllah. Like, even the way we think about animals and how much they are going to be recording on our behalf has changed just because of this ayah. That, like, what more do you need to become conscious of Allah? They, you know, what did these people that were worshipping the sun, how trivial was it that a bird just flew by? Like, you didn't even think about it. It's just a bird that flew by. And yet it was surveillance from Allah, is what that was. And surveillance to, to report back to a prophet. And in, on the uh, Day of Judgment, when everything becomes a witness, subhanAllah. It's not just our own hands, our own feet, but even the animals around us are going to be witness. May Allah Azza wa make us conscious and make us realize the presence of Allah and Allah's full view of all things just by these beautiful examples that He lays out for us.